Good morning, Chuck here at Garden Spot Acres. Welcome to video 10 in a tiny house log cabin build. Finally, we're hitting the last course of our logs. We have some timbers picked out. Let's go check those out. I have enough five and three quarter inch wide timbers here to use for the last course. That's what we're gonna be doing. So hopefully today we can do the last course. We can put our sill seal on top of that. And then we're gonna go ahead and use a two by four top plate to square everything up. Or at least we hope I can. The neat old peg holes. Oh, the heaviest ones for last. Got some 10 inch lag screws today. Okay, we secured that with three of the 10 inch lag screws. So I'm gonna go back to my eight inch. I'll put one here, one there, one there. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this side here. There's the end of the court. There's the end of the timber that I just put on. And we're gonna come out here. Now we're gonna extend another four inches beyond this to stagger it just like we did the front. So I'm gonna measure to here and add four. 65 and a half, that'd be 69 and a half. Now this is definitely a good one to take parts out of, the smaller pieces, because it's got a, got a twist and a uh, bow in it down here. See how much nicer these hex heads are than no star drives? One-handed, I can hold the timber with one hand. And she really wants to twist that that way. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and get a shim and put it under there so it can't twist.
What's going on here? I can't get that screw out of there. It hit that knot and I can't move it. Let's try it over here. Boy, that's weird. That's right in that knot right there. And I can't back it out. Yeah, I don't want to be eye level with that thing if that breaks. That is not moving. It's right there. You can see right where it's pushing a knot out. Well, I could be able to get that out of there. That impact's not doing it. Well, I just went and got a 3 8 inch impact wrench. See if I can't get that thing out of here. I have a half inch, but I don't think I have any 5 16 sockets for it. And I really don't want to use this one, but I have no impact sockets. That well, the 3 8 inch impact wrench didn't touch it. So I just break it off and leave it in there. I can't believe that. I got this one side done. I'm gonna go ahead and work on that other side, just like this side here. Then I'll be back with you as we put our back and front on. I took these screws out on the end here on this long wall when I put this short piece in because this one here tipped this way so now I got this one to anchor to so I'm gonna go ahead and put a screw right through here I'm gonna miss that knot I learned my lesson before well that worked perfectly check that out All right, I just wanted to show you that. I countersunk that one down there because I wasn't getting the bite that I wanted. I'm trying to go as close to this as I can without touching it. And it looks like, man, I'm gonna go right next to it. I might have to go down there and cut my seal seal off a little bit. I'm gonna put it right there. Now I'm able to twist this board until I'm even with my top course right there. And she's still not hitting down through there. Now I'm gonna go down to the other end and try to do the same thing. So I'm gonna bring my top course right over to the string. And I can also see how much of a hump we have in here. 
So it looks like I may have to shim this end of my top plate and the other end of the top plate. Now I'm gonna move on to the other side, get the plate on over there. And all I'm gonna do over there is measure off this plate here. And I'm gonna find the widest point over here from the edge of this plate. Then I'll be the edge of my two by over on that side. Thanks for coming along on the video. I appreciate it. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next episode. Hit the like button, tell your friends and family. Thanks again. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.